So we're at the point now where we're running out of antibiotics to treat routine infections like a strep throat or to protect people during operations. And it's very clear now that our capacity to manage bacterial infections being diminished by resistance puts all of our health systems at risk. Tuberculosis remains a human disease of global significance. Each year there are 10 million new people who are infected with TB and there are 1.8 million people throughout the world who die from this infection. There's international consensus that encephalitis is a marker syndrome for severe and emerging infectious diseases. It's essentially been understudied in Australia and our research is tackling this important question. By fixing houses, we can reduce hospitalisation rates for childhood infectious diseases by up to 40%. So the question is, why isn't this happening across the board? The Murray Bashir Institute is a multidisciplinary institute which brings together researchers from the health sciences, the life sciences and the arts and humanities. The aim of the institute is really to reduce the considerable health, social and economic impacts of devastating emerging infectious diseases or outbreaks that are occurring in our region. Our research is on antibiotic resistance. We focus on the bacteria themselves and the mechanisms they use and how they spread those resistance capacities to other bacteria. I'm looking at the spread of drug resistance in populations. So to do this, we look at the Hajj pilgrimage in Mecca, where three million people come together from 190 countries. And that allows for the spread of drug resistance that they then take back to their own countries. So my research focuses on severe childhood brain infections. And our leading project is called the Australian Childhood Encephalitis Project, which is a national surveillance study that's been running since about 2013. Since that time, we've gathered one of the world's largest cohorts of children with this devastating syndrome. And we're generating findings and hopefully implications that will influence policy and practice in this country and internationally into the future. We are fortunate that the co-location of adult and pediatric services on the Westmead campus facilitates close collaboration. Our research focuses on the development of new tools for the control of uh, tuberculosis. We've developed a, a new innovative vaccine for tuberculosis and currently we're preparing this vaccine for testing in humans with the ultimate goal of using this vaccine product to aid efforts to eliminate tuberculosis. So NBI contributes to my research primarily through funding. In this case, a partnership with Health Habitat, which is a not-for-profit company who work with Indigenous and other disadvantaged householders to restore amenity to the essential health hardware inside their houses. My work with Health Habitat involves a methodology which tests the function of these health hardware items in the house. That includes testing everything from the taps and the toilets to the showers, the electrical wiring, even the plumbing systems. This work has been done in over 9,000 houses across Australia and additionally in Nepal and Johannesburg, even Brooklyn in New York City. We aid in global health by bringing together not only researchers in a wide variety of important and relevant disciplines, but also engaging with healthcare workers, with policy makers and with the community, so that working together we can actually make a difference.